Hello, my friends. Today we will discuss the skin signs of kidney disease in depth. Understanding these visible symptoms on your skin can help identify kidney issues early. If you have kidney disease in its early stages, you likely won't see any obvious warning signs on your skin initially. But over time, as the kidney function declines and the disease progresses to more advanced stages, you may start to notice some subtle skin changes that could indicate kidney problems. One of the most common skin changes you may experience is general dryness and irritation of your skin. Your skin may become rough, flaky, scaly, and develop a texture resembling fish scales or sandpaper. This extremely dry skin is very common in people who have end-stage kidney disease, which has progressed to the point of requiring dialysis treatments or a kidney transplant to stay alive. In addition to dryness, extremely itchy skin is another key symptom of advanced kidney disease. This itchiness can range from a mild nuisance to an unbearable, life-disrupting condition. You may feel the urge to scratch all over your body, or the itch may target specific areas. Some people experience constant itching, while for others it comes and goes. When you give in and scratch the itchy spots frequently, it further damages your already dry, fragile skin. This can lead to additional skin issues like raw, bleeding skin, thick calluses, open sores, and very itchy fluid-filled bumps or blisters. If itching persists and typical moisturizing creams don't provide relief, you should visit a dermatologist for assessment and treatment options. For patients with end-stage kidney failure, a form of light therapy called ultraviolet B phototherapy can help reduce severe itching and improve skin healing. This involves exposing the skin to ultraviolet rays under medical supervision. So another clue pointing to kidney trouble is changes in skin coloration. When the kidneys stop working properly, waste products and toxins build up inside the body. This can manifest as discoloration on the skin's surface. You may notice an unhealthy pale gray, yellowish, or whitish tone develop in certain areas. Other spots may appear darker or bronzed. If you've had ongoing itchy skin and have scratched frequently over time, you could develop thick leathery skin with yellowish discoloration, bumps, and deep crease lines. You may also see cysts or pimple-like spots that resemble whiteheads. However, keep in mind many other skin conditions can also lead to these changes, so kidney disease is just one possibility. In advanced kidney disease, you may notice changes in the appearance of your fingernails and toenails as well. Kidney dysfunction can affect the growth and pigmentation of the nails. Some people with severe kidney impairment get a white discoloration in the nails near the base, while the tips remain a normal pinkish hue. This gives a half-and-half two-tone look. You might also see horizontal white bands striping across one or more nails. The kidneys play a key role in regulating fluid balance, removing excess water and sodium from the bloodstream. When they can no longer perform this function efficiently, fluids start to build up all over the body. This fluid retention leads to visible swelling, which you may first notice in your lower legs, ankles, feet, hands, and even your face or around the eyes. Kidney disease can also provoke inflammatory skin rashes in some instances. These can appear as small, dome-shaped, extremely itchy red bumps. As existing bumps start to clear up, new crops will continuously form. In severe cases, the bumps can merge together into large rough red patches with overlying scales. Those with end-stage kidney failure may also develop fluid-filled blisters and bumps on their hands, feet, and facial skin. These result from bursts of inflammation in the deeper layers of the skin. In rare cases, you may notice a new lump or mass growing on your abdomen or lower back. While this is an uncommon early sign, it could potentially indicate kidney cancer rather than standard kidney disease. Since kidney cancer typically doesn't cause symptoms in its early stages, skin changes like an abdominal mass often arise late when the cancer is more advanced. But many benign conditions can also cause lumps, so it's important to get evaluated by your doctor. Some patients with kidney disease develop firm deposits or nodules of calcium in the skin, especially around joints. These calcium deposits usually don't cause pain, but can become tender when located at the tips of fingers or toes. In severe cases, the buildup of calcium may erupt through the skin, oozing out a chalky white substance. In summary, a variety of skin findings including dryness, itching, rashes, nail changes, swelling and growths can signal kidney dysfunction, so consult a dermatologist if you have any of these symptoms. While most kidney-related skin issues can't be cured, 
proper skin care and treatment can provide relief and improve your quality of life. That covers the major skin manifestations linked to kidney disease. I hope you found this video helpful. Let me know if you have any other questions and please subscribe for more useful health and medical content.